Welcome back viewers to another list of legends list and today we're going to be discussing the iCarly reboot. How does it compare to the original? What is Sam's status on the show? And now adult jokes. Before we begin, make sure to click that like and subscribe button so I know you like my content. Without further interruptions, let's begin. The new iCarly just dropped on Paramount Plus with three new episodes, and it's pretty awesome. The three episodes we received off the bat are I Start Over, I Hate Carly, and I Faux Apologize. I Start Over kicks off with Spencer's apartment, which clearly has been updated, but also retains the same feeling as the old set. We see that Carly's having relationship problems, and that carries over through the first couple episodes. Freddie also is having problems having gone through a couple divorces, and has an adopted stepdaughter. So basically each character is shown one at a time and each has their dramatic entrance, which is also pretty awesome. With almost a decade past, Carly wants to start iCarly again, but someone is missing. As most of you are already aware, Jeanette McCurdy has retired from acting and we all need to respect and understand that. But how does the show explain Sam's absence? Well, while discussing who would do the show with Carly, she mentions that Sam is off traveling the world with her biker gang. Oddly enough, it makes sense since in the final episode of iCarly, in I Goodbye, Sam is seen riding her motorcycle, so all together, I think the show did a great job explaining the past and how things are now in the present. Something I genuinely am surprised about is they kept the original lyrics from the original iCarly theme song, with of course an updated look. So it's nice to see some new and old looks. As of for the new, let's talk about our two new main characters, Harper, Carly's roommate, and Millicent, Freddy's adopted stepdaughter. Harper is a pretty funny character and gives Carly advice on how to take on the world, especially with her relationship problems. Millicent seems to have a love slash hate type relationship with Freddy and does what she can to get what she wants. So overall, I think they're a nice addition to the show and will definitely keep things interesting. Another thing that is pretty funny is the age setting. Has been turned up a little so now we get to see some swearing and adult jokes. Since they were limited on what they could say on Nickelodeon, they have a lot more freedom now, especially with Paramount Plus. So I think that leaves them with a lot more stories to tell. Seeing Mrs. Benson's appearance was definitely one of the most funniest appearances because it shows just how much she hasn't changed. Another character we get to see is Nora. While on her hunt to search for the Hey Commodore, Carly stumbles upon Nora, noticing she is back from Italy, and claims she has changed, but yet, still seems to stalk Carly wherever she goes in this episode. So when comparing it to the original series, you'll notice a more modernized set, which makes sense since they can't keep everything the same. But you'll see also the same lyrics to the theme song, some iconic sculptures like Bottlebot, returning old characters like Nora and Neville, new characters like Millicent and Harper, the age setting being a little more turned up, and the characters being as goofy as ever. Now I know it won't be the same without Sam or Gibby, but I really recommend giving this reboot a chance, especially since it appeals to old fans and new fans. And as the writers have stated, the door is always open for them to come back. Overall, I think the new iCarly started off really well and there are still a lot more amazing stories to tell. I mean, we haven't even seen Neville's return yet and I can't wait to see that. But what do you guys think? Did you love the new iCarly, or will you just stick to the original? Let me know in the comments down below. But alright viewers, that is the end of our list. Be sure to let me know what list you'd like to see next. With all that said, I look forward to seeing you with our next list.